Yo, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings for low-end PCs to get the max FPS and to reduce delay. Regardless of the PC you have, using these settings and these tips I'm gonna be showing you will 100% improve your FPS and will make your game feel so much better. If you guys do enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And the best ways to support me is to become a channel member or to use my code whiteout in the item shop. So now without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Just before we get into the Fortnite settings, there are a few things you need to change on your desktop. So to start this video off, you need to make sure your drivers are always up to date. It doesn't matter if it is AMD or Nvidia, because this can be the reason why your GPU is not using all of its power, and why your game could be running slow. So just always check your drivers to make sure your driver is up to date. You guys should get a notification whenever there is a new update. The next thing you need to do is to go into your Epic Games Launcher. For this step, what we're going to be doing is turning off high resolution textures. Turning this setting off will make your game look really bad, but that is not what we care for. This is also going to help your game run faster, and it will also make your game feel less delayed since you're not using the high textures. So to do this, like I said, you do need to open up your Epic Games Launcher, then go to the library section. Then you should see three dots next to Fortnite on the right side. You want to click on that and then click on options, and that is where you should find the high resolution textures so now all you need to do is uncheck this and if you don't play save the world you can also uncheck that this is also freeing up more storage so once you uncheck them you can press apply speaking of storage you need to make sure you have a good amount of storage left on your pc because having a low amount of storage on your pc is going to 100 percent make your game run very slow so there is a setting called configure storage sense or run it now if you do click on that you guys should see a setting on the bottom where it says clean now where your pc will automatically clean up files that you don't use on your PC. Doing this is going to be giving you an extra amount of storage on your PC, so just make sure you're always cleaning up your PC every few weeks. The next thing we're going to be doing is going into our game config settings. If you guys do watch my stretch res videos, then you know exactly how we're going to be getting into it, but for you guys who are just joining, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that. So you need to press the Windows key and R to open up Run. Once you open up Run, you do need to type in percent local app data percent, then press OK. Then you should see that your folders open up. So to make this easier, you want to press F so it takes you to your folders that start with F. So you need to click on the Fortnite game folder. So once you do that, you need to click on the following. Click on Saved, Config, Windows Client, and now for this step, you need to right click on to the settings and then go to properties. For this step, all you need to do is uncheck read only and then press OK. So now you can open up the settings. And now since we're in our game settings, this is where you can change your res to make it stretch res. As you guys can see, if I can find it for you guys, I am using 1750 times 1080. So if you guys do want to use stretch res and you don't know how to do it, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So as we're in our files, you do want to click on edit and then click on replace. So if you guys are using 1920 by 1080, which most of you guys are using, you want to click on find what and then you want to type in 1920 on there. Then you want to replace that with the res you want to be using. So I'm using 1750, so I would have replaced 1920 with 1750. Then once you do that, you press replace all. And then the same thing with 1080. If you want to change 1080 to let's say 1050, you want to find 1080 and then replace that with 1050. Then press replace all again and then you can exit out and then save it. But you guys need to make sure once you're done changing your settings, you right click back onto the settings, then check read only again. So I'm going to be showing you guys some reses you guys should check out if you want to get a good FPS boost. But there is something else that we need to change in these settings. So if you guys do scroll down a little, you should see your ray tracing settings. So I'm going to tell you the exact settings you need to use to turn off your ray tracing. Most of you guys know what ray tracing is, and that does kill your FPS and your GPU. So you guys can just copy these settings. But so for B ray tracing, you want to have that set to false. For ray tracing shadow quality, you want to have that set to false. For ray tracing reflections quality, you want to have that set to zero. For ray tracing ambient, you want to have that set to false. For ray tracing A0 quality, you want to have that set to zero for ray tracing gi quality you want to have that set to zero as well and also just another thing you want to have motion blur obviously set to false so doing this is turning off all of your ray tracing settings off in game you guys might see that it is off in game if you have checked before but these settings are different so you need to make sure these are off there are more settings that you guys should change which i will make a future video on so now once you're done with that you want to just click on file and then save it and then now you can exit out but you guys need to make sure you right click on this setting again and then go to properties to check read only back on so now i'm I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings to use in game to get the best fps boost 
and to get less delay. Alright, so now we are in our Fortnite settings. So now the first settings we're going to be looking at is our game settings. And now looking at our display settings, you want to make sure your windowed mode is set to full screen. Reason being because it will give you the least input delay and as it even says, it will make your game run the fastest. For your resolution, you want to keep this at native res. Even if you're using a stretch res, you still want to have that set to full screen in 1920-1080. But if your PC is really bad and struggling to get FPS, then you can set this to 1600 times 900 So now moving on to your frame rate, this does depend on the monitor you have. So I have a 240Hz monitor, so I will be using 240fps. There is no reason why anyone should be using 360fps because there is no way in endgame you're going to be getting that. So if you do have a 144Hz monitor, you can keep that at 144. But if you do have a decent PC and you are using performance mode, you can set that to 160. But if you are struggling to get FPS, then you should keep that at 144. Moving on to the graphics quality, this next step is going to be optional, but lowering your 3D resolution can slightly increase your FPS. I would recommend not going any lower than 80%. Going lower than 80% is obviously going to make your game look terrible, but just slightly lowering your res will give you a little FPS boost. And now moving on to your graphics quality, you just want to turn all of these settings to low. And also you do want to be using low meshes. Going into our advanced graphics settings, make sure your VSync is turned off. And turn on show FPS just to see what your FPS is. And now I'm assuming you guys know what I'm using already. And now the most important setting you do want to have turned on is performance mode. Performance mode is better for getting FPS compared to DX11 or 12. The only downside of using performance mode is obviously your graphics, but you are going to be getting the most amount of FPS on performance mode. So if you're on DX11 or DX12, then you need to switch to performance mode. So once you switch to performance mode, you need to make sure you restart your game in order for it to work. And now the last setting you do need to change is your sound quality settings. You want to make sure your sound quality settings is set to low. There is no reason why you should have this on high, but having it on low will increase your FPS. So that is all of the settings that you guys should use to get an FPS boost. There definitely are more settings that you guys should change to get more FPS. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you guys can use my code WIDA in the item shop. So with all that said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video run away from the past and the nonsense tired of toxic